Sneaky B here with a let's play of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Holy crap! What? Where did this come from? <laughs> what many of you are saying, likely. And uh, I'm also saying because I wasn't expecting it either. But I've heard nothing but good things about this game um, from both people online and also you guys. You guys have apparently been talking a lot of a lot of good stuff about this game. And it's a game that is by Vanillaware. They sent guys that did Dragon's Crown, uh, who've done uh, Odin Sphere. Um, so a lot of the art style and stuff, uh, they have a very unique and very sort of uh, distinctive art style. And it's really quite pretty. They, their, their games are almost always guaranteed to be like just incredibly gorgeous. But yeah, there's been a lot of really good buzz about this game. Uh, I don't really know anything about it because I wasn't really keeping up with it or really planning at all to ever play it. But I just kept hearing from on the mods and stuff are like, oh yeah, God, Big Whiskey playing this game and it's like, it's unbelievable. And then my mods start playing and they're like, oh, this is unbelievable. And like, Nico, you should check it out sometime. And it just got me really interested. I was like, I want to play something kind of different, you know? And I've heard that this game is got a number of different genres. Um, but it's, I mean, it's, it's got part RPG. It's part point and click, part visual novel, part maybe some other stuff I don't know about. I remember I saw Yoko Taro. I think it was Yoko Taro on uh, Twitter or something, like raving about this game too. <laughs> he was like, oh my God, which probably means there's going to be some wafus and shit in there, right? Which is, well, it's actually not surprising because again, Vanillaware uh, are known for their very uh, pretty characters and Lord, pretty girls, right? There's that one dragon's crown chick who was like the breasts that like are bigger than... Uh, most of the characters' heads, like, you don't know how they stay in there. This woman has to have horrible back problems. But yeah, I'm definitely getting some, like, you know, kind of gundam -y, even gellian kind of feelings when I, I'm seeing, like, this title screen here. But I don't know really anything about the game's story, what the gameplay is even like, honestly, other than the, the genre things that I'd heard before. So uh, this is going to be super duper blind. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen a trailer for this game. I don't know anything about it. So we're going to find out together, guys. Uh, so let's... Uh... Holy crap, music kicks in. <laughs> that was kind of cool, actually. It's like you barely hear it in the distance, like someone's playing on the radio. And the moment I click it, it's like... No, 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 no. Oh, God. Uh, cool. I guess so. this is like... We got the 13 Sentinels here. Is that everybody standing around? Damn, yeah, some freaking uh, near sounding music. La 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 la. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, see what this game is uh, all about. Please select an audio language. Uh, can we just need time in the options. Uh, we'll stick with English for right now. Hopefully, it's dubs pretty good. I repeat. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A yes. A unidentified object has crash-landed in the city. It that sounds pretty normal for Japan. Destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. <gasps> oh my god! It's Yosuke! The express lanes are currently out of service. Are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. Damn, this game's pretty already. <laughs> Holy crap. What the hell? What? 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 Why is she lifting up her leg or skirt like that? Panties off! <laughs> what the? What the fuck? The only way to. <laughs> what the hell's happening? The only way to summon her giant robot is to pull her panties off. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god, it's Megatron! It's really happening. <laughs> it's really happening. It's like a made Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robot <laughs> and fight. <laughs> Get in the goddamn robot, Shinji! Our fate was sealed a long time ago. Damn, looks like a... It's like a painting. It's so cool. Whoa. Oh, sudden child style change. May 27th, 4.30 p.m. Blah, 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 what's happening? Am I inside the robot? Am I also 
naked? Oh my god, she is naked! Why is she surprised by this? She seemed like she knew she was, what she was doing when she pulled her panties off. Man, they are throwing you in the thick of this. are you like Did you come from the future? What the what? We can discuss that later. Do you understand the situation we're in? That area is under attack by D forces. I came here to fight. But I don't know how to control any of this. And this robot's not making a peep. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. <laughs> your mind. There's another body connected to your brain. Trying to direct it. It's fucking music, man. Is that why I have to be naked? Jesse's voice actress? I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. Slash Fataba? That's your equipment interface. Use that to neutralize the D-forces in front of you. D-force! I don't know if I'm doing this right, but... Dang, I can't really see my robot, though. It's like an icon. <laughs> Tutorial, attack! To control your pilots, move the cursor over a pilot and select with X. Uh, once the menu's open, press X to select action and destroy the enemy using arm mounted machine cannons. Okay, so this is like a tactical RPG? Like, I legit don't even know if it, what, what kind of RPG it is. Oh my God, I'm dying. Wait, oh my. No, I think, I think I'm supposed to be. Uh, oh, okay, wait, worker HP 150. Small crawling Kaiju equipped with a low output beam gun. Though it may be the weakest among the Kaiju, it's still eight meters in length and a major threat to you humans moves and packs but has low durability attack air, area attacks are effective skills excavator beam uh uh How do I... oh okay i was like i just sit there and i'm just eating shit i better i better move uh action arm mounted cannons text catch you with a with a target area in the front of the center with a machine can oh wow look at this shit ah uh, eat this tickets Okay, I destroyed half the city doing that. Slow down. Different combat situations might call for different weapons. If they're all concentrated in one area, you could use a wide impact armament like the rocket launchers. What? What? Uh, okay. Rocket launchers? Oh, where's the rocket launcher button? Check your display. The rig is on your shoulders. Focus on them. My shoulders? Is this how I do it? Yeah. <laughs> she makes this out. She goes, yeah. <laughs> she shoots. Your rocket launchers are located all around your nipples. Just imagine you're shooting. Shooting them out your boobs. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Select action. Destroy the enemy using multiple multi-rocket multi launchers. It's interesting. So it seems like it's real time, though. So I'm like, I was expecting to be like, okay, they're attacking me. I'm just going to wait for my turn. Oh, wait. Adjust the attack range with target with, uh, okay, target as many enemies as possible. We can do this. Right? Yeah, I think it is uh, Jesse slash Futaba's voice actress. It's slightly altered because she's inside this robot thing, I think. I'll probably be able to tell a little better when she gets out. EP100. Uh, okay, so that's like my MP, I guess? Fires multiple rockets within to a target area. Eat this, dickheads. Die. Oh, my God. Numbers everywhere. I beat them. I got them. Can you evacuate? 
A massive kaiju is approaching from behind. What? Where? Right behind you. Who you thought, Cocoon? Number 15's taking damage to the rear exhaust system. They're fencing from the rear. Who the hell is that, Yosuke? This is Sentinel number 13. Holy fuck, he's naked too. To cover Kurabe, what are you doing here? I can't let this turn out like Sector 3. Izumi? No. There's no way his memory could have returned. I remember doing this in my dreams. What the fuck? Oh, what? I think I can do this. Wait until we call for backup, Izumi. My name. What? What? Holy fuck, I feel like I just I, I don't know what's happening right now. My name. Wait, wait. Was that his name or not his name? What was the other guy saying? The guy was saying call him something else. Do you think it was do you think it was somebody else? Select action, then select heavy knuckles. Uh use the joystick to attack the enemies in front of you while moving. What can I do? Holy oh, she's got a ton of health compared to the uh, other chick. Oh, I can see an image down there. I kind of wish I could see my dudes a little better. Like, actually see him like, rrr, rrr, go over and just slug the shit out of some guy. Uh, attack a ground kaiju two times with the Sentinel's giant fist. Wow, I just fly over there. Okay, boom. Nice. Pilot. That really isn't easy me. But how? Did we do it? Oh, is this like Izumi's robot, but this is somebody else? Cool. I got score 305. Neat. What does that mean? Me? Joe Krabi's story is now available. I hope so, because I want I, I don't know what's even happening. What? Oh, okay. I'm here now. Ah, uh, hold on. Uh, oh, okay. So we do have auto advance. Should I have that on? I, I mean, it is kind of nice when it auto advances, but the problem is that I can't really enter. I can't interlude until they stop talking. Dialogue type. The first button pre press displays the entire line. The second advances the dialogue. So the entire line advances dialogue with a single button press. Uh, that's fine. Auto advance. Oh, that. Wow, that's cool. An auto advance weight. That's neat. <laughs> but point eight seconds. Thought cloud controls. Navigate th thought cloud with the right stick. Okay. Directional button. Select. During thought cloud, keywords are selected with that. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, and then otherwise you'd use the. Wait. Players control with the D-pad. Oh, okay. I guess, okay, so you use the D-pad and then control yourself with the, okay. Um, stop on unread. Uh, char character intro? A splash image is displayed when beginning a protagonist story. Sure, that sounds neat. Um, camera zoom, maximum zoom. Wow, that's actually a fair amount of options here. A blur effect is applied over areas out of focus in battle. That's fine. Um, Subtitle on. The dub seems real good so far, so I'm gonna think I'll keep it on there for now. Uh, all right, I guess let's go ahead and save my. Oh, good, we got auto saves. Uh, wait, what? What, what did that say? Mystery points? Meta chips? What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? I see little things down there. I've got two percent complete of something. Damn, this game really just kind of throws your fucking stupid ass in there. He's like, hey, dummy. Don't you know you're playing a game, bitch? Go kill these kaiju. Well, okay, shoot the missiles. Get in the motherfucking robot, Shinji. Yeah, but I'm scared. Shinji, you fucker. Cool, this guy looks a lot like Yosuke. Well, a bit. Juro Yukurabe. Right. The story of Juro Karabe. Damn this artwork. A few days ago, okay. May 1985? Okay, we're going way back. Holy fuck, this game's this gorgeous. Man. What is going on? Come on, 
Jiro. Let's go home. Shiba kun. Wait, who's that voice? Who's that voice? Fuck. I heard it. I heard it. I was like, I heard that and immediately recognized it and went, who is that? Uh. Holy fuck, this music is amazing so far. Holy shit. Holy shit. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so mad that I don't know who it is. I heard the voice and I immediately recognized it, but I don't know who it is. Uh, all right, basic controls, uh, joystick, X to talk people. Kyuta Shiba. Is the whole game voice acted? What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. It's like I'm stuck in an anime. Yutashiba's been added to Thought Cloud. Thought Cloud. Sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it will be added as a keyword. Press triangle to open the Thought Cloud to select and contemplate keywords. What? Neat. Okay. She becomes a bit of a class clown. But... He's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Cool. Fuck, I, it's gonna drive me nuts until I fucking figure out who that voice is. Is it, is it Kuzuru? I feel like that doesn't seem right. I don't know why my mind is immediately going to Kuzuru, but I don't know if, I haven't heard Kuzuru's voice in a fucking long time. All I've heard is my dumb version of it. Oh, it's fucking Casper's guy. I, I had, it was driving me up the wall. I was like, who the fuck this voice is? It's fucking Casper. It's fucking Casper. It's Ben Diskin, who also did Master Master Xehanort when he was young. Fuck, dude. Holy shit. That was driving me nuts. I was like, I should know this. I should fucking know this. Come on, Nico. Good Lord. That other massive RPG you played, remember? Casper. It was fucking Casper. Oh, holy shit. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was driving me nuts. Back to the actual game, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at this the lighting in the back and how it's actually refracting off my character oh that's so cool oh wow actually actually move uh into the foreground too i'm phasing through the desk hey girl can i talk to her that's one of the girl that's the girl who's in the robot oh i gotta go back and talk to him more speaking of movies i brought your video back thanks for letting me borrow it VHS. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? Videotapes been added to Thought Cloud. Some keywords can be used on other characters. When this option is available, press triangle will appear above their head. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> and she says in his head, Kyushu, videotape. Man, oh my god, it's pointing at him. Whoa, whoa. Here you go. Well, let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. I kind of like that it's not really contemporary. Movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. <laughs> Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. <laughs> Soon enough, you're going to be in your own mecca. Whole circle to move faster. Oh, thank God. <gasps> Yorifu Yusaka, she's dead. Hey. Yusaka sounds asleep again. Wake up. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. What? She always seems to be sleeping. It's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Hmm. the hell wait so she was also in the she's also in the movie huh so they say the girl looked familiar 
in the movie. What the fuck? I hope you don't mind if I phase through you, ma'am. Shall we go home, Asami chan? Uh, sorry. I've got plans with someone. Let me guess. It's Ninja Kun, right? Ninja Kun! No. I mean, it is a guy, but Yuri chan met someone special too. I'm the only one left. You're all so lucky with boys. <laughs> it's not what the hell? This game needs to stop. Did you need something? Looking unreal. Not really. So as I was saying. Oh my me. Right? Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy, but Damn, look at this. Look at the lighting refracting off the chalkboard. This shit is unbelievable looking. What the fuck? I just want to hang out in this one room. I can't imagine the rest of the game looks as good as this one room, right? Maybe that's why the battles look so much, so much simpler in comparison. Because they blew their entire budget on this singular classroom. As the moment I step out of here, we're all going to turn to stick figures. All the voice acting goes away. The music just turns into some guy smashing two cans together. All $80 million of the budget of this game went into this singular room. Look at this. Just You know how long it took us? How much money it took us to get this light to do this? To look this crazy? All right, get ready for shit now. <laughs> uh, okay. How do I get out of here? Do I, do I gotta talk to him again? Hey, by the way, I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, rent? The one you told me about the other day? Really? Yep, gonna rent it. I've got to. Remember when we used to rent things, guys? Give me a minute, I'll be right back. I actually really like that. I like that this It's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. I like that uh it's taking place in not, you know, 2020. <laughs> Shitty 2020, but in like the eighties. VHS man, that one video. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Hmm. Hey girl. Hey, Fuyusaka san. Rise and shine. Uh, huh? Class is already over. Kurabe kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I. I had another weird dream. Yes, yeah, Jesse's voice and actress. You were there. Huh? Me? Oh God, we're having dreams about each other. We should date. What kind of dream was it? Well, um, dude. Uh, Get out of here, Casper. Sucks, man. I'm trying to hook up. Find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute. What's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. <laughs> awfully cozy. It's not like that. Hmm? Baka. Oh yeah. Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me. Carry on. Uh, sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. Let's get back to that makeout session. Y yeah. I'm going home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. Pretty. I should get going too. <laughs> I just want to listen to everyone say. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Wait, come back. I recognize her voice, too. I'm gonna, it's going to be a lot of that. It's going to be a lot of me like, I recognize this voice. It's that voice. Shouldn't tease Maybe you like I that. Should join a club too. But it's your fault for keeping secrets from me. <sighs> <It's about time. laughs> Look at my guy's face. He just looks like he's so fucking done. It's like, ah, I gotta get the shit out of here. How do I get out of here? Do I gotta talk to her? Hey, hey, girl. Seriously, the music is amazing. Oh, do you want to talk to him about that one video? 
Uh, no. But seriously, Amiguchi, we gotta catch that guy. In I gotta keep talking to him again and again. You wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. You're just waiting for me to play him. Yeah. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. Uh, oh, cool. You, you can actually consider it and then use it on him, too. So you get it both. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. Sick. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Is this the guy that... No. I don't think it was the guy that um, the other dude was bringing up, like... He thought he thought I was in that was he was the one in the robot. I think his name started with a T. Sorry, it's too many Japanese names. I can't keep up with it. You know, Amiguchi kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break too. <sighs> Let's head to the cafeteria. Grab your stuff and come on. Okay, uh, where's my stuff? Hey, Krabby Kun. Ah! What is it, Sawatari san? <gasps> I love you! Yeah! I want to get a girlfriend! Hi! Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? The papers are on the podium. Is this it? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Oh, they even animated me holding the papers. Holy fuck, there's the animation in this is, uh... It's nuts. Keywords, keyword alerts are displayed in the top right of the screen. Stack of papers. Cool. Okay. So, just okay. Just it's like my inventory as well. Sorry, I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, all right? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Uh, is this my bag? Oh, here we go. Additional controls. R1 to fast forward text. Uh, fast forward will automatically pause on unread text. Uh, view the test text log. Okay. Start to pause the menu and select manual to view the controls. The fact that you can go through unseen text, though, it makes me feel like, are there like multiple routes to this game? Oh, let's go. I can even hear the voice of it. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. That's cool. Yeah. Does that mean like you go through it again so you'd skip over it or or something? That's usually why they have that in there. Or maybe it's like a new game plus or something. Uh, where to? The nurse's office. Pretty. And now I'm a stick figure. She's not here. Dust room's fucking crazy illuminated too. And I look ginormous to the sink here. Look at this. Ah. I'm walking Takamis in here. What should I do with these papers? Eat them. Can I just leave them here? Hmm. There's a document with my picture on it. What is this? The hell? I'll just take a peek. It's my permanent Jiro record. Izumi? It's oh. my photo, but... Oh, here we go. The last name is wrong. I'm Jiro Kurabe. Yeah, yeah. Symptoms. 
Psyche stabilized via drug administration. The fuck? The patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? The fuck? Uh-oh. Oh, oh Karabakun. Oh, God! Big titty nurse. Holy shit. Look at the bazongos on that lady. What is this, ma'am? Are you drugging our students? Uh, just want to talk to her. What brings you here? Like, does the air actually like, follow her around? It does. That's that's cool. I think you forgot these. Oh my! You brought them back for me. I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabekun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Shibakun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. <laughs> Everybody in this game is fucking gorgeous. Look at look at this lady. She's like ah. She's like she can't hold up her chest normally. She's got she has to have an arm under there to keep them to keep them steady. Otherwise, I just fall flat on my face. Oh, one more thing, Karabekun. Yeah. How was your current condition? What? My condition. You know, any heart palpitations? Look at his face. He's like, hmm. Sleep at night. Why do you ask? He's like, oh. There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year. That's a bit odd, isn't it? I like how he's just looking straight down at them. Give me some medicine, just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine, really. I see. If you'll excuse me. Run, run, run! No, go back, go back, Jaro. Was there something else you needed? Uh, yeah. Miss Morimura, have you seen Amiguchi-kun anywhere? Amiguchi-kun, the first year? I just made my rounds, but I don't believe I ran into him. That's okay. Hmm. You seem to get along well with Amiguchi-kun. Yeah. I was just thinking of hanging out with him again. It's a bit surprising, honestly. Do you two have something in common? Oh, uh... Porn! Interesting. I wonder if this is all optional right now. There's a lot of voice acting in this game. It's like this whole game is like, like Fire Emblem. All voice acted. We just hang out around the TV. Movies, video games, that kind of stuff. Porn! <laughs> Now that you mention it, your eyes are a little... <laughs> Every time she gets close, his face gets red. Um, I guess I stared at the screen for too long. <sighs> you need to lead a healthier life. Shall I make a house call this weekend? Huh? I'm fine, really. I'll get my life in order. Well, all right then. Would you like some medicine after all? Uh, no, sorry. This is really cool so far. What do you need? Uh, well. Oh, I think, uh, I, th I think her her name isn't lit up anymore, right? Would you like some medicine? Uh, yeah. Okay. So that means I've I've exhausted all the dialogue. Cool. Oh. You're still here? Shibakun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. It's fucking dead. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. Let's go Japanese blockbuster, baby. It's still alive and well. I, I think. Actually, I don't even know if blockbuster was a thing back in the 80s. Wow. Wow. Pretty. Bye. 
Something wrong? Mm, he couldn't catch on Miguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. This sucks. I'm sad. It sucks. Just like his bagels. Bagels suck. It's true that one video was already rented out. But we didn't come back empty handed. What? That old ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. Yeah! It's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? <laughs> Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? I like how, like, my guy is a, he's, he's a pile of giant robot. The mecha nerd is a pile of giant robot. Dream fulfillment acquired. Yes, I knew all that time watching Kaiju Flex was going to pay off. Yeah. The mighty Kaiju Deimos. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what would become a long-running series. <laughs> What's that sound of me flicking my bag? <laughs> I'll pass on the arcade. It's too shady these days. Why not get a game console? Then you can stay safe at home. My little brother totally tried that argument on our dad. Get the he Super Nintendo. Buy me one. I'll fall in with the wrong crowd. Miyuki and Naba sure is popular these days. Right? I even see her in TV commercials. Everyone at school seems to love her. Think she'll be in this year's award show? That Risi Kuchikawa is so damn hot this year. <laughs> what? Aren't we going home? Wrong way, man. I'm sorry, I don't know what's that. Uh, I'm just listening. I'm just listening to people. Hey, don't give me that look. <laughs> look at him. Look at this sidewalk. Come on, Juro. Let's go home. It's an easy to go and do, isn't it? All right, all right. The Sentinel isn't responding. The Arakun? The activation. You know I know I did it right. The fuck? I won't start. Damn it, my damn robot won't start. I put the keys to the ignition. Hey. Miracun. Uh, sure, Okun. What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Whoa, what the hell? Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. <gasps> what the? My hand's lighting up. My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. <laughs> Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Oh, fuck. What have I done? Don't tell me. Are you? What was that? Over there. Uh, what? You just cast a summit descent. Uh, over there. Look at that. Hey, that's normal. It looks different. That's a robot from that movie. It's real life. Idiot! What are you doing? Send that thing back. I did that. Okino's damn code. What? He added a forced activation protocol. What the f what? Well, this will be interesting. Are you? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Shibakun? <laughs> oh, my brain! Oh! Karabi's prologue clear. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> to be, to be continued. What the hell? That was some wacky shit, man. Oh my god. He was in on it. Oh look. Mystery files obtained. Eight. I'm an archives for closer. Wait, so can I look at it? No. I can't. Event archives obtained. Are those like the thought bubbles or something? What the fuck? <laughs> that shit was nuts. I was like, I was like, why is he acting so normal about this? Uh Okay. All right. Futaba's story is now available. Uh, okay. I can only select her, too, so... Can't, like, go check out the rest of that other guy. 
Dude, this is crazy, man. <laughs> what in the hell's happening? Uh, damn. Okay, this this game just kind of throws you into the shit of it, huh? Okay, back to normal shit. Maybe for like a little bit. <sighs> yes, classic toast in mouth. Thirty M. Toast. Almost there. I'm gonna crash into somebody, right? Ah, oh, I knew no. it. Bitch. Hey, you all right? <laughs> That's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. Where's my toast? Huh? Wait, are you? An uncanny resemblance to that movie girl. Maybe. Uh oh. Did she drop this? A student ID. First year. Niori Fuyusaka. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Time to start stalking her. What the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Kitty, did you see that shit? Yuri chan. Girl's got some thick legs. Mm -hmm. Good morning, sleepyhead. Mm. You were sound asleep. Class is over? The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, uh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm... Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Okay, so this is, uh... I guess... Before we left, where's my other guy? See in the back here? I don't see him. It's interesting how like the the dialogue, like you have to keep talking to people, right? Like the dialogue stops and gives you a moment to just like move around or or I guess select something from your brain. Miwa Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, and thick and thick and ridiculous. about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Miwa Chan's my good. Loves talking about romance. Nice to meet you. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. Usami! <laughs> case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwako. Uh. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and... Seems a bit weird, honestly. Yeah! <laughs> Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan? Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Have I met Goto yet? There's too many names. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. She's such a gossip. <laughs> Miwako. She wants all the deets. So I guess this is before the other guy came over and like woke uh, woke her up, I guess. Did she go back to sleep again? Or maybe, or is this a totally different day? I think she might be a totally different day. I don't know. Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the 
the desk. Oh, um, I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? He was hot! I wonder why. Well, uh, the guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Like <laughs> High school! Oh my god. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Oh my god. Um, you think so? Maybe. Aw. <laughs> Cute guy. <laughs> what is this? My heart is racing. He's so hot. I wish uh! I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Oh my gosh, you so kawaii. What the fuck? <laughs> I wish you could have taken a bite out of my toast. Wait, where was my toast? Shit! I knew I was hungry for a reason. I recognize her voice too. I don't... God damn it. I don't know who it is. You guys can probably tell me. I'm sure you guys, I'm sure you guys will. You guys usually fill me in on all the voice actor deets. I definitely recognize her though. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um, you're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Mm. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it. <sighs> you sure yawn a lot. <laughs> Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just... I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. About boys! What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details. But, but I am naked! Last and night, in a robot! I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. I punched you with my giant robot fist. Glass scroll, you in on this shit? What the fuck was that? Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Oh my gosh, Sheena! Don't break the door. I didn't. God, there's a lot of characters in this. Uh, hi. Old building. Wait, wait. Uh, oh wait. This school is so old; it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Isn't your class next door, Nachan? Don't worry about it. I have to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. I am meeting a lot of new people today. Uh, is this like the first day of school or something? How about I'm like meeting all these people for the first time? I guess these schools are so big that it's possible to it's possible just to have a class and not meet any of the people in there. I don't know. I've never been to Japanese high school. At least not in real life. <laughs> you guys are so lucky. I want to be in your class too. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Is this? Uh Minami-san. There you are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Is the class's girl, uh... Oh, right. Morgana? You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Speaking of which... Really? Where? Mr. Giddy! Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I think I know that kitty. Kitty! Like the highlights on my like to see like the highlights around my body here like from the light so cool wait i want to talk to this girl and now i'm thinking maybe this chick might be morgana 
It's not, it doesn't sound quite as Morgana-esque, but who's the kitty? It has black fur with a white belly, right? That is totally Morgana. Have you seen it too, Miwachan? All the time. Dang. No fair. I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. Hmm. Guess that nap did her some good. I think it might actually be. It's not quite as Morgana-esque as some of her other ones, like uh, Sothis and stuff. Sothis sounded very Morgana. That's a very Morgana cat! Anywhere. Where could it be? It's right there! Look! There it is! There's Morgana Kitty! Dude, that's fucking just that's just Morgana. This now this cat's gonna have the Morgana voice, right? Mr. Kitty, what are you doing here? Ah! Mr. Kitty, what are you doing, huh? Why you guys show up in every one of my games? Huh? You're always interrupting everything. I was in the middle of some dang cool kaiju versus robot stuff, and you gotta come in here and ruin it. What the hell, Mr. Kitty? Ah! Don't give me that shit, Mr. Kitty. All right. I think I have time for your fucking bullshit. You go sit over there and consider what you did. I was in the middle of a cool anime. Kitty, come back! What are you doing hiding back here? You're weird. Huh? Where'd it go? Why? <laughs> don't act like you don't know. Oh. It's Kurabi kun with Amiguchi kun. Oh, okay. There's Dom. That's. We have something here. Amiguchi kun. This isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me too. You feel it, right? I want to pursue this with you. Whoa! Please. I don't know. It's just... Oh, shit. Huh? Fuyasaka-san? <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. <laughs> what? The yaoi! The yaoi! Bye! Wait. There seems to have been a misunderstanding. Guy looks like a young Marluja. <laughs> Me and this guy dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. <laughs> yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Everyone's got a blush strange face in this game. Strange dreams. Okay, so this is Amaguchi. This is probably before the events that happened. Yeah, see this icon's in the top right. So it's like, it's. Uh, oh, does that mean something new to consider with it? Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? Aw. Oh. oh, it is. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to understand the icon. So the top right, you get the two green things. That means that that's a new thing to consider. Red means it's uh, something you can present to somebody else, right? Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. So what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. <laughs> a lot like seem related. A lot like these prologues. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. Like our memories. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. This happens so much in, an in, in Japanese anime, right? I feel like this is just ha this must be what ha what real Japanese high school is like, right? <laughs> it's like, God damn it. I'm just gonna wake up one day. I've got fucking, I got fucking anime powers, super demon lore powers. Robot powers. I'm a Power Ranger. I'm Super Saiyan. I'm like 88. 
fuck different things together. <laughs> This music is fucking great too. Holy shit. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? No. Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Cause I thought It's getting hot and heavy up in here, yeah. Class is starting. We can talk more later. Well, let's go, Fuyusaka san. Prologue cleared. Okay, Harrison ended with some crazy shit, at least. <laughs> All of a sudden, her best friend's like, Damn it, you've learned too much! Die! <laughs> Race my brain! Uh, Mr. Files obtained three. Invent archives obtained three. Cool. I don't know what these archives are. Where do I look at them? Beginning of the, of the end. Uh, Episode one. Uh, so, okay, episode two. Wave two. What? Okay, we're on the map again. So we're jumping back forward in time again. I think. Oh yeah. I got in this robot and Oh good. Looks like you're okay. Kurabe kun. Fuyasaka san. Everything you said came true. We did get naked together. He's Guto. You keep talking about them like that. What are these D forces? D force? Dimos. They're the kaiju. That's them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. If they manage to reach the mainframe, this city will be wiped out. But we can't stay on the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The D forces would be completely locked out. That's gotta be the Aegis system Ms. Morimura was talking Aegis. about. Aegis, okay, that's how you say it. Is it even safe to use? We're only using it to buy time. How do we activate it? Whichever one of you is closest, move to the D forces invasion point. Invasion point? You mean where the kaiju are all trying to get to? Yes. The terminal sits directly below that point. Make your way towards the terminal, which, which is the invader's target. Tutorial, move. Just send it all. It's like move from the menu. Uh, she's where you want to go. Start moving. So it seems like I can only move along these paths, right? These like lines here. Which makes sense because otherwise I'd be running through buildings. Oh, that's wow! Look at that. That's super cool how the how the buildings like go up and move away as you. Wow, that's super neat. Okay, um, move. Yep. Focus. Yeah, she's got quite a bit less HP than the other guy. You managed to walk. The signal to the terminal 300 meters underground. Either of your access IDs should be capable of activating it. And that'll fix it? That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju? No, it won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Her HP's regenerating. Until it activates. I think. Our mission is to keep the D forces away from the terminal. Or it was. Warning. Dymos signatures identified. Enemy in range. Unless I imagined it. Initiating tactical analysis. Uh oh. I believe it. 
tutorial. Lost condition. You must protect the terminal until the self-defense system uh, e Aegis is activated. Aegis. Uh, damage to the terminal is shown in the top left of the screen. If this defense gauge is depleted or I if even one of your pilots dies, it's game over. Switching pilots. You can switch the pilots you control with the D-pad. Change up the pilots depending on the situation. Okay, should I just wait for him to come to me then? Oh, they're just okay. Kill. Oh god, this guy's right over here too. Eat this. Oh my god, I've got some serious range. I don't have to go that far. Okay. Uh, okay. Eat this. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, am I waiting for the churn? Oh, I am. Okay, so so there is there is some churns. You can see like their ATB on their their portraits there, like filling up. Um, I'm gonna fucking blow us all to kingdom come, so we can fit everybody in this. Yeah, here we go. Fuck yeah! Glad that didn't hurt us. Activation confirmed. This area is now protected. Cool. Are your sentinels still operating? That's the power of nudity. Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Who's there? Are you fighting? Who the fuck is this now? You're in a sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. Tell me. I believe that's Sentinel number twelve, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my sentinel. Mine! Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okino kun before. I've come to save the human race. <laughs> leave this <laughs> what? I've come to save the human race. This comms. <laughs> it's just getting crazy. Location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? This game is anime as fuck, I love it. Move to rendezvous. Going towards the next combat zone. Oh wait! Which way is the next zone? Where even is this guy? Is he just walking around? Victory! We made it. We did it. What was my score? Oh, I didn't even get to see. Oh, now for this cool guy's story. Taka Toshi Hijiyama story is not available. Now I can learn how he, well, I sort of learn how they got there. I actually don't really because I haven't, I still haven't learned how these two got there. I just see like a little bit about who they are. That's about it so far. How do we get to the point where we're inside of the fucking machine? Okay. I think this is probably a good place to uh, end things for now, guys. Uh, but this game is nuts so far. <laughs> this game is, it's kind of cool. Though. It's kind of hype. It's got me by the fucking balls. I'll tell you that. Jesus Christ. This game uh, really just kind of throws you right in the middle of a bunch of stuff. And you're like, I don't know what's going on. There's a fucking kind you kill it. And things are happening. It really helps too that the game is gorgeous and the soundtrack is beautiful so, so far too. I don't know, I'm super engaged. I hope you guys are digging it as much as I am. Um, if you are, please leave a like and a favor if you want to see more of this. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, are excited about this series. And uh, if you're not already, why not subscribe and become a Pinky Penguin aboard the SSLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. I do look forward to checking out more of this game. I'm uh, I, I I'm very I quickly very quickly engaged with this, seeing what's going on and who all these crazy people are. Uh, but anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.